TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, as you see it. It's the warning. I don't know what's going to uh, come in this episode, but there's a warning. Pause also. also. Uh, Twitch.com. Usernames at the bottom of the screen if you want to tag. I mean, come to any live and things of that nature. Uh, we also got Patreon. We post five days of a week. We just started The Gentleman. Great show so far. And we do got merch, man. This is Police Interceptors. Apparently it's from May 6th. I don't believe it. Season 22, episode 25, we'll see. I don't even think they filmed this year. Anyway, talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Policing a force area of 834 square miles, Nottinghamshire's interceptors have their finger on the pulse of all the motors moving through their county. Is that towards Bay Mary? When a car on the hot list is spotted, it's down to cops like dog handler Coops to track it down. So there's a vehicle where hit one of our cameras, which has got a few marks on it saying that it's failed to stop previously in other uh, force areas. Um, so it's definitely, it's definitely worth a stop. The silver Mercedes they're after has previously failed to stop for other forces four times. Got away full time. Not necessarily that far behind it. He four for four, like Wendy's. A lot of y'all out there wouldn't get that joke because there's no Wendy's out there in the UK. I heard there was like maybe one. If, if y'all do understand, then hey. Now it's on the move in Nottingham. And there's another sighting. Yeah, so we're literally a couple of... Hey, on his ass. It's over. Y'all's behind it now. ARVs have got it. Covertly catching up in his unmarked Skoda. Delta 5 one, two in the stick. That's him. Coops falls in behind another unmarked unit. Oh, it's the silver one. Okay. Who are tailing the target silver Mercedes. It's one of them, 50-50. Oh, Intel's saying this car will fail to stop. We never know what's going to happen. If the driver clocks they've got company, they could prepare for vanishing act number five. A big risk when they're driving a Merc packing a... I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, he is four for four. The stats say that he can get away. You know what I'm saying? The analytics, the analytical breakdown says his chances are high. Top speed of almost 150 miles an hour. To the other units, I'm in the blue unmarked Skoda, so eyes out for that car. The plan is to lay low until backup arrives to help with the box. But it looks like the driver is already getting twitchy. And he's just gone to lane three. It's a little telltale signs now that he's trying to uh, lose us or shake us off. It's very hard to follow definitely sometimes. Down. He's going to give it legs here. Yeah, it's going up. He ran? Put your lights on. Dash cam from the lead car shows the driver throwing in a late lane change before booting it. Yeah, speed is now 9.5, medium speed, speed, speed. Are there lights on or no? It's time to break cover. There it is. A flash of the blues has zero effect. 
I be saying put your lights on for the other people. You know what I'm saying? There's other people around. They don't know what's going on. The driver's intentions are clear. Coops is still the second car in convoy. That's not a car, Luke. So there we go. Fifth out to stop now. It's obviously a very busy boy. Yeah. I don't think today buddy's lucky day though. He's moving them, man. Back in the lead car. Seconds after the pursuit is given the go-ahead, the driver takes a death-defying risk. Damn. Tearing across two lanes at 120 miles an hour, the lead car has no chance of following. Oh yeah, buddy taking real risk. You can't get him. Y'all ain't had no chopper out, he might be gone. Lost it on the turn off with the M1. Did the second they car get him? Taken off one unit. Coops, however, is locked on target. Second car got him, that's why he was trailing a little bit. With a Merc careering onto an M1 junction at over 100 miles an hour. And flying off road. Crash, 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 here we go. Here we go. It looks like it's all over. Is it? But this driver is just getting started. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Buddy is... <laughs> Buddy is a demon behind that wheel. I don't want to recap. I'm sorry. Given one unit the slip. Crash, here we go. Here. He's running the wrong side of the barn coach. Back on the road. Along a footpath. He looks shocked. Dog handler Coops usually sends in the dog. <laughs> hey, Coops looks shocked. Look at Coops' eyes. Coops can't believe this right now. <laughs> hey. Dog handler Coops usually sends in the dog to catch criminals. Tonight, it's his advanced driving skills which are being called into play. Coming through, hey, you know. The Merck's 168 horses are no match for Coupe Skoda VRS. But the runaway driver isn't playing by the rules. So safety is top priority. You gotta fall back at some point, don't you? Another unit directly behind helps with commentary so Coops can manage the risks on the road. The dangerous driver is flying the wrong way over roundabouts. Recklessly slicing through traffic. You gotta fall back. It's a lot of traffic. This ain't medium risk, is it? And hitting such high speeds that the driver is starting to pull away from the interceptors. Imagine if y'all has like SRTs and, and Hellcats and yeah, man, it'd be rough. It'd be a rough, 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 rough time for the police. Huh? That's five one. It's still up ahead into Leicestershire. One thing about the UK, they're gonna run. <laughs> they're gonna take you on a chase for sure. And I don't condone it. Glimpse of the cross border bends. High risk. It's gone offside of the RA. As the high performance motor rampages into oncoming traffic on a roundabout. Is that it? You're going the wrong way in a roundabout? Yeah, it's committed. A50, A50, correct carriageway. 130 miles an hour and climbing. 140 miles an hour, a marked car takes the lead. But with the Merc pulling away at nearly 150 miles an hour. Jeez. 
it's clear the driver is willing to risk. See what I'm saying? Because a Hellcat going 200 <laughs> off rip or something very high up there. No, it's going two to up 200. Everything to escape the law. The unit split up to cover every exit of the roundabout. We have planned to straight through the gate because we're going to get to the distance. I-138, nothing in the distance. Where was the chopper at? The chopper that went, y'all didn't even get the chopper out. The Merc has disappeared. What's got gone on, y'all? Bro, it's five for five. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you should, that's ex my exact sentiment. It's a shame, isn't it? He hurt. Good about that. The level of driving was um, horrific, really. That lad is, is risked a lot there to avoid what he possibly thinks is years and years in prison. But for us, we've got to play the game and manage everyone else's safety, and that is priority. Uh, you've got to wait. You might as well just sell that car, man. You don't want that car no more. It's done. What's safe and what isn't. Um, and in the end, them speeds that risk. Yeah, they've, they've got away, and they'll be high-fiving themselves tonight, but... If we just that we'll just be thankful that no one's been injured or hurt, and, and this time will come. Uh, I've got no doubt about that. It may it, bro over here. Maybe round five to the Merc, but the search for the elusive motor continues. This, how does it feel to be undefeated? They he need like a post-game interview. That's tough. Huh? Well, wiggled up out of that. That's. You should not drive at such a high rate and put others in danger like that. I do not condone that type of energy. But I will say, 5-0 is insane. In the fight against crime... Bro might be the GOAT. <laughs> sometimes you just can't beat a bit of interceptor intuition. There is such a thing as the, the copper's nose, and it? It, does, it does pay off, especially when we're out and about looking at vehicles. But yeah, you, you're just looking at manner of driving, you're looking at how people react to you. You do get a gut feeling. Uh, and what I always say, it's best off to run with that gut feeling because half the time it turns out to, uh, to pay dividends. Yeah, listen carefully. We, he paying attention to how people react to their presence. That's why when the police get behind me, I don't even move. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? I just got my license back. Almost. I'm about to. But you know what I'm saying? I don't even move, huh? You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as I move over, they're going to move with me. Beep, beep. You're not doing that. I don't want them problems. It's bank holiday weekend in Nottingham. But for Lisa DeSantis and Sergeant Jim Carrington, there's no time to put them. She do be driving. Feet up. A Vauxhall insignia flies past. Do a check on some radio is free. I'm doing that fast. And triggers the old copper's nose. Get a feeling. Don't know. I mean, there were, it's obvious we're turning around. The passenger around. was opened the door and then has closed it again. It is weird. It was quick, wasn't it, mate? He was massively quick. With the Mark V series in tow, now the insignia driver seems to be the model motorist. And that's me all the time. He's looking, the passenger's looking. However, his passenger seems a bit twitchy. Could I uh, have a code too, please? Initial checks show the car is legit. Could just ask him what the it's game marijuana. is. marijuana. But Interceptor Intuition says something's dodgy. Oh, they're going to help us out shortly because they're going to be going into there. <laughs> the insignia is heading for the train station. I'm gonna go in and just ask him if he's in a rush. Yeah, I'll get chat with him, can't I? Yeah. Well, yeah, I was trying to get to the train on time. My fault. Was that was that a speeding officer? I don't know what. If the last 20 years on the front line have taught father of five Jim anything, it's that if something looks too good to be true. 
father of five. Jim be having sex. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He be spreading this seed. Salute. <laughs> Look at that. Where's it be going? It probably is. <laughs> Lisa. Oh my god. It's, it be the subtle things for Lisa. Look. It probably is. Bro takes off. He's out the car. Lisa's looking at it happen. Look. She sees it. He's out the car. Now, did y'all see her? Just She was daydreaming. Literally. <laughs> it probably is. Look. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Let me put the car in park. Lisa. Lisa, I be trying. I'm telling you. It be you. You be giving me ammunition. Shut up, mate. Hey. The passengers giving it legs. Hey, mate, you've got to run her out of that car. Down past the railway station, back up towards Queen's Drive. Shut up, mate. Hey. But Jim's not going to be beaten. Up towards London Road and the canal. Jim look like he's getting tired. He's running from me, the black man bag. Stop there, mate. Oh, never mind. Briefly losing sight. Down onto London Road. Jim channels his inner athlete and stays hot on the runner's heels. Hold there, mate. What are you running for? What? It's the end of the line. <laughs> Try to play down on me. Uh-huh. Fine for this runaway. Can I have some officer to me, please? I'm just by the jury's in London Road. He definitely threw something. Down the bridge trying to discard a bag. Uh, directly opposite the Virgin Active Health Club. There you go. You've got a warrant out. Well, honesty is the best policy. Got the front seat passenger detained, saying he's wanted on warrant. Clearly, their interceptor intuition was spot on. Right, man, I'm just going to wait for a cop to join me so I can get you secure, so I'm happy, mate. Talk, so I'm on my own with you. Yeah. I don't know why you've run off. You're telling me you're wanted on warrant. But for all I know, you could have something on you shouldn't have, a weapon, something's going to hurt me. You could say no, but I don't know that, all right? You've obviously run off for a reason. I imagine if there was something serious in this bag, you would have lobbed it by now, so I'm hoping I won't find anything here that's too terrible. Thanks, Lisa. That's Lisa. Sandcast. Where is Lisa? Where? Lisa! Where are you? Good man. Jim escorts his latest catch back to the car. This time at a more leisurely pace so they can hammer out why the suspect ran. As you suggested, mate, yeah, you are obviously wanted on warrant for failing to appear at the Nottinghamshire Magistrates Court for disqualified driving. So you're under arrest on suspicion of that warrant, OK? Obviously, you should be turned up at court and you haven't. Um, should be detained and put before the next available court, all right, mate? <laughs> mate you know the score. Come and have a seat, mate. As well as skipping his court date for disqualified driving, the not so light footed lad has also fessed up to having drugs in his bag. So, what do you think's in your little little bag, mate? Bit of weed and a bit of cat. Anything else? A... No. You can see what's in there. Man, hold on, man, because they be. I don't know why they always do me like this. What screen am I looking for? Just a bit of weed at the minute. So it's got a little bit of cat in here, which is probably in a powder form, from what I can feel. Ketamine? Lad likes his drugs and running off from the cops. Whereas Jim likes nothing more than feeling the collar of a runaway. To be fair, mate, if I don't catch people in the first hundred yards, I usually don't catch them. So you're doing pretty well, to be fair. You're born the same year as me. <laughs> but I'm carrying about two stone a kit. I wanted to be caught and let you catch me. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it kind of shakes when I got around the corner. It's still on the screen, looking, literally. Giving up, ain't you? <laughs> I'm not taking <laughs> you know it off. Saying? It's still so there, guys. Further I'm not having it. I'm in possession of a controlled drug, mate. All right, namely herbal cannabis and what we suspect is ketamine or some other controlled drug. Okay, remind you still under caution. All right, mate. Jim might think that's a simple end to this job, but at the other end of the street... And then I, 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 my, my disqualification was gone after the 18th. Lisa is dealing with the driver, who hung around as good as gold. 
And I need it for work However, and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, but you can't drive it without yeah, a license. I, but I, I, I've, I've got that, so if I ring DVLA up in the morning and speak to them about what's It turns out he's also previously banned from driving and seems surprised to learn his license has expired. An email sent to me from them. So final destination for the insignia is the recovery yard. Like email you lot that I've proved from... Well, the problem the problem we've got is that our this is not bad. I just don't. I just you know what I'm saying. I don't. I dislike her eyebrow lady. You know what I'm saying. I don't like her. Every, she decent though. I want to take to the police station. You no, not pretend like you're taking it for a search. No. You lot go and search it. You lot go and give it a good search. Say, right, we need to take the search this car. We need to search this car. Come on, please. In the favor, I can't say, right. Listen. But you could. You could say. No, I couldn't search. say that. Do you know why I couldn't say that? Because I'm a police officer and I swore on please. the oath to protect and serve. And you're telling me I've got to yeah, lie. Desperate to. <laughs> he tried. Lisa might lie. No, she ain't doing a lot of work, but she ain't. his car, the driver tries his luck with the Sarge. The issue that we've got, mate, is we can only go, go by what the DVLA database is telling us. Yeah, I know, yeah. And like, like I've just said, if we have grounds to suspect your licence is invalid, if, we'll if, impound if, if the if car. I'm doing it online, which I've tried to do, and you can't do it online from after being disqualified. You have to do it by the form from the post office. You can't do it online. There's no way mm. of doing it online of doing it. Mate, I don't... You have to get the form from the post office, which I've done, and send it. I'm for now, I don't care. Mate, I, I don't necessarily disbelieve I know, you. I, know, I honestly I know, don't. I know, uh, I know. But our hands are tied. It's been a good day for the interceptor intuition. Next stop, oh, yeah, the runner me, is the Nick. Yeah. And recovery are en route for the insignia. Despite pleading to keep his car, the driver didn't collect it. He's been reported for driving without a license and could face a £100 fine. The twinkle-toed passenger, who was wanted on warrant for disqualified driving, is still under investigation for the Class B drugs found in his bag. But he was delivered to court the next day and dealt with for driving whilst disqualified. Thanks in part to the finely Uh, ketamine is Class B? Tuned machine, Jim. He looks like an athlete. Shut there, mate! Oi! Hold there, mate. He, um, he just runs a bit slower than maybe, you know. I guarantee you if me and Lisa met in real life and she had, and she wasn't accounted for, she going. <laughs> I'm confident in that. Hey, listen. Talk to me, Lisa. Sure and he has no idea that I'm talking about it. Are you taking the mick out of me? <laughs> Did you say something about gangly legs? I just says I use an athlete and how, a matter of fact, him running slightly uphill, yeah. um, he had no chance of getting away well, from Well, I was you, an Jim. athlete for the first 100 metres and then I backed off a bit. No, and I if, think you did a good job. I well, think... I'm doing slough the cakes, though. Well... Oh, did you say that as well? No. Good. I didn't even mention cakes. He does. Well. Whether it's spotting a familiar face or some dodgy driving, not much gets past Nottinghamshire's eagle-eyed knife. Nobody know Lisa Instagram, huh? Crime team. <laughs> They've got three cars keeping a lookout over in Radford, including Gav Hall and co-pilot Joe Riley. <laughs> Waiting at the lights. See that? One driver draws their attention. Look, that's definitely a red light. He's just gone through. The red light runner is not hanging around. He got up out of there swiftly, didn't so he? So Gav puts his foot down. There was a Mustang on the recovery video. On the recovery truck. I'm not a Mustang fan. That's why I overlooked it. Mm -mm. And catches sight of the driver slipping into a side road. There, mate. The driver's quick to park up and jump out. Bella, Bella, come here, sir. But as news of the stop travels over the airwaves, oh, I know where it is. It's on the right. And they need all of y'all. Within seconds, he's got the full complement of the knife crime team, including Adam and Sergeant Matt. We're with him, Ken. It's ditched his, ditched the car here. Lock the key under the car. So we don't know why. 
He's definitely uh, Would have been a baseball bat on Okay, let me tell y'all what I see, because y'all missing it. Let me break down the suspect. Anybody that wear a jersey, you know what I'm saying? A Nike jersey with Puma sweats and sandals, white, and he's an all black, and he got black socks on, he's definitely, a, he's on badness. Whatever they accusing him of, he did it when he stepped outside in this atrocious Combination. He did it. 100%. Sandals. It's insane, bro. Put on some shoes. First and foremost, and if you in, if you in the life of crime and gangsterism, you know this is a no-go right here. Sandals? Outside? We don't do that. Is what people would say if they were involved in that life. Because you never know what could happen. And you don't want to be caught slipping in those sandals, man. Would it be the baseball bat on the back seat? First. That's why he did it. I'm just going to move the car out so we can get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like the driver could have something to hide. At least it's a Kyrie jersey. Yeah. The question is, what? In Radford, I don't care. Let's just, just get to back. search his car. Back do it. Uh, yes, mate. Yeah, it's a baseball bat on the back seat. That's not illegal. It or is it? I don't know. Trying to be Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for warning me. So, so far, ah. we found a small bag of what looks like probably coke, cocaine. That's personal uh, use. Another bag just with loose cannabis in. Um, personal use. So at the minute, that's all we've found. Meanwhile, Joe has done some digging of his own. Did tell us if we were the class only. Yeah. Not only is the driver currently under investigation for drug dealing, but he's also got an upcoming court case for drug driving. Pop your lips around that tube for me in one long, steady breath. With booze and suspected drugs... Oh, uh, my God! ...in his motor, is history going to repeat itself? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Thank you. Zero, mate. So you're all Lucky. good on alcohol. Zero. Was you not expecting that? I didn't know, to be fair. I, didn't know. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but you know what I mean? It's all clear on the drink drive front, but how about the drugs? A drugs wipe test can detect cocaine and cannabis in saliva in just eight minutes. He looks under the influence, and within 30 seconds of the swipe being back, he's a. Uh, I want to say this because I've seen you several times, and. People may say it's because I'm bald and I can't get no hair, but I don't like your haircut. And they may say I'm jealous. It may be so. But as far as I stand today, I don't like it. Positive for cocaine. We have to wait the eight minutes, but that obviously shows that he's under the influence of him already. He clearly has been very recently. Eight minutes later, there's a touch of deja vu. He high. Right, mate, you provide a positive sample out on this drug swipe. Okay, so you provide a positive sample for cannabis or cocaine. The moment time is 8 31 now, you're under for driving. Obviously, whilst I'm describing it, alright, so mate. You're also dressed, obviously on suspicion of possession of class A and possession of class B. So. Here's my thing, man. If you know you got some if you know, I say this all the time, bro. If you know you riding dirty, why even run a red light? Why even take that chance? I'm stopping at yellows if I'm if I'm doing something bad. You know what I'm saying? Hypothetically speaking. Like I'm stopping at yellow lights. I know it's just oh slow down, take caution, but I'm stopping. Fully. It's just some cannabis and cocaine in the car as well. All suspects cocaine. Clearly not learning his lesson, is he? Nope. Um Yeah, nice little stop. And there's one more offence to add to the list. That's illegal. Yeah, so off the back seat, we've got baseball bat and then nice golf club for him. But he's athletic. He had on a jersey. You know what I'm saying? He could really be playing these sports. 
So he's been arrested for uh, having possession of an offensive weapon, and then when he go, he's going custody anyway for the drug drive. So we get asked about them at the same time. Yeah, gym bags. But you know when you put it together, you know there's intel to say he's drug dealing. He's driving around with drugs in his car, and laid on his back seat is a baseball bat and a driver. And of course they say, well, I've got a golf club with me because I play golf. So it puts the onus back on us to prove the offence. And what you want, <laughs> because that's going to get thrown out. We already know that. This scenario, there's no, there's no golf balls, there's no baseballs, there's no gloves. There's none of the other equipment you'd expect to find for someone. Sir, that's hearsay. You know what I'm saying? At the golf club, they provide all of that. At the batting cages, they provide all of that. And I like to feel the steel of the bat in my hand. It reminds me of hard work and dedication. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put no gloves on. I'm out here raw dogging. You get me? That's how we play in sports. Raw handed. And that she plays baseball or golf. Um, and it's been found with drugs. I think we know full well that people that are in possession, particularly with intent to deal drugs, um, they need to defend themselves. So more often than not, they'll arm. I, I don't know. I can't... I, I got nothing to say about the drugs, but, the, you know, baseball bat and the golf club, I got you, sir. Arm themselves. After a pit stop at the Nick to book in their findings. Seize from him. Yep, three times deals, deal bags of white powder. Blurred out. The knife crime team head back out to continue the investigation. To where? Are they? His house? When he's got down to custody, he's been strip searched. And then um, what? They've found three bags of cocaine in his sock, um, 300 pounds in cash. Uh, and when they've looked at his phone, it's ringing constantly, um, which is signs of drug dealing. Now the interceptors have got the go-ahead to search a flat you. linked to the suspect. Going to have to edit. I am one of the best editors on the platform. For all of you who ask me, oh, man, how come you have to edit it out or put your face in blur uh, when they put... Um, Marijuana, listen, I've been through this. I wouldn't do it if I didn't have to. If I want to get green lighted and not yellow marked, I got to, okay? Y'all want to see me win too? Oh, don't need a button. I don't need a button. Hey, he got it right out. And it doesn't disappear. Bro, not even trying to hide it. Oh my god. I'm gonna show. Oh no, I can't even show y'all nothing. Just know it's everywhere. This would have been in amongst all these carrier bags in here. Y'all, it's everywhere. Loads of different names. Immediately, as we've come in, we've been struck by this. This is a band, though. <laughs> Ain't nobody live those. here cannabis and you can see that he's <coughs> cutting it all up and packaging it all out here with his scales i can't even describe um, it to y'all because he's got tubs of it he's got deal bags yeah, there's more really. in this cupboard cash um you know when you're trying to prove the difference between possession and possession with intent to supply um you can't find much better no than he's going to jail for so, sure 100 i'd say he's now in trouble it's over the driver has been released done under for investigation for possession with intent to supply class A and B drugs yeah, I've seen and a possession bit of, it, right? of an offensive weapon. For three counts of drug driving, the red light runner was banned from driving for two years. Buddy is an idiot. <laughs> bro got snatched up, caught. Let me let me break this down to you. Bro got snatched, ran a red light. This all started from him running a red light. Keep that in mind. If he wouldn't have ran the red light, 100% he cool. He good. He They go in the crib. Boom. Smack his face with with the scent of aromatics in Class Bs. They walk in. It's Class As everywhere. Scales. 
You know what I'm saying? Baggies, blah, blah, blah. Got you. Got you. I've been waiting on you. Yeah. Um, also, he got a microwave. What else are you doing with that microwave? Ain't even no food in your fridge, and you got a microwave. So you in there doing a lot. Well, shit, it's up. The jig is up. Life right? as an interceptor isn't all blues and twos. At any given time, there's a fleet of high-performance unmarked vehicles hidden in plain sight. The unmarked vehicles, although I think that your sort of criminals will clock these cars, it does allow us to uh, have that little bit element of surprise, perhaps implement a tactic that we are planning on doing, so whether that's sort of a, a T-pack or... Let me tell you something. When I was in the city of Chicago, right, I was driving, right, and I don't know if I told this story before, I was driving, and I came to a light, and they was across the street, they was like doing a bust at a house. Let me tell you the cars I seen. I seen a Nissan Altima, like a raggedy Nissan Altima, with, with police lights on. I seen a Domino's delivery truck, a delivery car, it had the Domino sign on top of it and everything, police car. <laughs> I seen I seen a U-Haul truck, like a, a regular old U-Haul truck, police car, lights was on it and everything. I seen a I seen a pickup truck, just it looked like a like a regular old work pickup truck, like a Ram or something, police car. I was literally and legitimately in shock. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, this is okay. Y'all stepping up y'all game, and if that if you think that is bad. Florida is even worse. I cannot tell no undercover cop. I don't know what's what out here. All I know is the marked cars. I, I ain't never seen an undercover. Actually, I have. I seen one and I was like, dang. I would have never guessed. <laughs> like, it's yeah, you cannot spot them out here. For me, at least, because I'm not from here. Stinger, whatever. It just allows that little bit extra time and space to get closer to what we're aiming to do. That was tough. It's mid-morning in Mansfield, and interceptor Phil Broughton is on the hunt for a white van. It's a VW Caddy. It's allegedly got a wanted yeah, mail. The suspect is fresh on the wanted list following two alleged assaults in the early hours. And Phil's in exactly the right place. There it is. At exactly the right time. Attention. That's Tango 82 and H. A quick Yui, and Phil sets his sights on getting this reportedly violent man off the road pronto. We've got a domestic. We've got that vehicle, Hermitage Lane, just spinning on it. Advanced driver Phil has over two decades' experience in clearing up the wanted list, and today he's got an added ace up his sleeve. I'm behind it now. It's a white male driver. Uh, I've got no vehicles for cover. He's flying incognito in an unmarked Beamer. Uh, the RA, it's taking a second, a second, Hamilton Road. I'm directly behind it, unmarked advanced vehicle. If Van Man clocks he's being tailed, he could try to escape. I don't even think he's going to try. So Phil needs to keep tabs on the suspect until backup is nearby to assist with the stop. Vehicle, there's no indication. It's now moved into the left-hand lane. It's going to be a left, left, left onto Station Road. The wanted man's driving is raising red flags. It's a bit of an erratic route he's taking. It's whether or not he's trying to confirm there's a uh, BMW following him. And so is some new intel. Uh, the information is potentially may have stabbed somebody last night, so he might be in possession of a knife. So just got to bear that in mind. Yeah, uh, and also he might be drunk, which might be why he's uh, weaving slightly. A potentially armed and drunk driver could pose a serious threat. From 8-2, he has just crossed the central reservation to Tom uh, lane. No traffic. He's now on the correct side. To put the brakes on this suspect, Phil will guide fellow interceptors into position. It's a left, 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 Chapel Street towards St. Wilfrid's Church. And they are armed with a stinger. From Mosque Tango 82, speed has now increased to 4-0 miles per hour in a 3-0. 
Yes, yes, received. Teamwork and timing are crucial. We're just approaching the three zero signs with a self sign. But what? Okay. Another unit are lying in. Literally have no Wait up ahead. Speed has increased now to uh, two five miles per hour. Vehicle is directed down the tractor. Stinger at the ready. Approaching junction with Portland Street now. It's time to strike. All four tires, all four tires. One suspect is swiftly in cuffs. After a supreme sting. Swiftly in cuffs. Is this search say police? Imagine. After a supreme sting, which left every tire in tatters. I'll find out full details shortly, but ultimately, under arrest on suspicion of GBH, this happened last night. If you ever say anything, you may harm your defence. You don't mention when questioned, so we should later rely on in court. Anything to say, you may be given evidence. Have you had anything to drink at all today? Because when I've been following you, you've been weaving. Yeah, show me five. Yeah. I've driving. I've gone to King's Mill Hospital, mate. I've got no, there's some. Yeah. Is that me? Another one. Another one in, I think. Have yeah. you thrown up in the van as well? Because there's a load of. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's on floor. Yeah, no. It's not mine, mate. It's not yours. That who done it can wait. Phil wants to check whether the dodgy driving is down to the van man's sore eye or a sore head from the night before. Okay, that's a nice deep breath and blowing there until I tell you to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Thank you very much. Which is zero, that's fine. Told you. No, oh, I don't know, do I, until I ask. It's all right, because I was following you, you were weaving, but obviously with yard, that might explain it. He might have passed the breathalyzer, but Van Man is still heading to custody to be questioned about the two assaults. No, oh, no. chariot awaits. We thought he was going to be drunk. Um, but it turns out he's got an issue with his eye, which he's been to hospital with, and he's trying to put eye drops in his other eye, so that's why he couldn't see, and that's why he was swerving. So definitely still shouldn't be on the road uh, in, in that condition, what have you. These guys are going to drop you off down a man, so I'm following, so when we get there, I'll be booking you in. Please managed to deploy the stinger brilliantly. So, uh, no, it was a really good stop. Like I say, no damage to any of the police vehicles, nobody's been injured. Somebody in the comments said there's a... Brindy, there's a clothing brand called Police over here, at least. People buy that? Like regular people buy that? I couldn't imagine. It, the person we want has been arrested uh, and the vehicle's been taken off the road, so bro. The wanted van man is awaiting a charging decision for ABH and criminal damage. He was also given a ticket for driving without due care and attention. You're lying. Don't keep lying because you'll really start to annoy me. The interceptors deal with liars day in, day out. I don't care if my liar annoys you. Where does Prove me wrong. Nothing. Mm, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he lives like he's from nothing, but he lives like in Leeds. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Keep trying. To work out when someone's trying to pull a fast one, there's a simple ABC. Assume nothing. What's going on? What's the crack? Why are you changing stuff uh, around? I don't know. I haven't changed any number plates. Believe nothing. So it's got the wrong plates on it? Yeah. But why? Why have you got the wrong plates well, on it? That's what I'm saying. It's... <laughs> why would I drive it like this? You know what I mean? That's a very good question. Yeah. Challenge everything. But you've just stood and square on to me, man to man, and just lied straight up. So dude, don't try to humanize what's going on. You talking about man to man? It's police officer to citizen. It's not the same as man to man. It's mate. If a grown man is lying to a grown another grown man, why are you scared of this grown man? Like a regular civilian, like I'm not lying to nobody. First and foremost, for what? Now, police, on the other hand. That's not the same as just a regular grown man. Someone holding their hands up would be a rare treat. Out on the A610, Paul Charlesworth is behind the wheel of the unmarked 5 Series, joined by the Sarge 
Jim Carrington. And to top it off, this pickup truck has got two interceptors on its tail. So it's got a report on it from the 18th of May. Interesting. Saying it may contain an individual who is disqualified until test mm. passed. Well, we're about to find out. We <laughs> are, aren't we? The unsuspecting driver is stopping to get fuel. Petrol. I'm going to pull up at pump six, eight. And pretend you put some fuel in. And have a look. I was with his kids. Paul plays it cool. All right, mate. All right, mate, you. Time to play licensed or disqualified. Is it your motor, mate? No. Uh, it's fine. There's just some information that somebody disqualified might be driving this. But I don't know if that's you or not. So have you got a license and everything? No. You haven't got mate, a license? No, Right. That was quick. Do you got your license on you or anything, mate? I ain't got one, mate. He's the disc well, It's me, yeah. That's right. very honest of you, which I appreciate. Normally, they hear all sorts, but this band driver has spilled the beans in record time. I don't even understand, like... Y'all know that they put that in the computer system when you... Like, I just figured that out. That's tough. Not today, but, like, they put it in... They know <laughs> if somebody in this vehicle is not supposed to be driving. They well, really know this information. No, we don't need to yeah, we don't know. You've, got, you've got your kids with you, haven't you? So, yeah. yeah, you're just obviously not going to be able to drive. Wait, are you with, are you with this yes, flatbed yeah. over here? I'll get a lift with him. Get your stuff out then, kids. <laughs> it's an open and shut case. Well, you've been just out for the day with the kids on that, have you? Yeah, that's the kids have made, yeah. Paul will be taking the pickup truck off his hands and reporting the straight talking driver for driving whilst disqualified and no insurance. I'll need about five minutes of your time, mate, just to fill out the paperwork. Um, he knew he was doing wrong. He just gave it on up. I salute that. And then we'll give you some stuff so whoever it is can get it back. We don't even waste no time. Easy. In his school days, firearms cop Paul wasn't a fan of drama. And luckily for him, it looks like this is one of the rare stops to pass without a song and a dance. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So I just have to tell you, you're being reported for driving whilst disqualified and driving without valid insurance. Basically, uh, you'll be summoned to court through the post. Yeah, I can't well, just Sam, you just have to work for it. People usually try it on for at least five minutes. This <laughs> <laughs> point, I am. No. Oh, yeah, they know exactly. Yeah, happy days, mate. Um, as easy as one, two, three. Just what I'm All right, matey. Thank you. Cheers for your honesty. Take Thank you. Take care. Jake, we've got everything, mate. All right, mate. All right, ta da. After a short but sweet stop, the driver was found guilty of driving whilst disqualified and no insurance. He got eight points and a £200 fine. Eight points? Just give me a more, more of a fine. I can't believe he just coughed it. <laughs> no, it always, always makes you you're almost like, oh, are you sure? Uh, just makes everyone's lives easier, though, doesn't it? All right, he'll be out and be gone in five minutes. There's no hassle. His kids aren't upset about anything. Um, he was with his kids, though. That's why he did that, for sure. Like, I got my kids with me. Let me <laughs> make this quick. It just is what it is. It, it would always happen, and he knows that, so he's just saving himself some bother, really, which is uh, a refreshing change, I would say. But saving some bother by telling the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, doesn't come as easy to some. Keeping an eye on the sleepy streets of Worksop are Gav Hall and Mike Grant from the Knife Crime Team. Check this car out here, though, here. It's just parked up in here and see what's up. An occupied Audi Q2 in a dark car park has got this wily interceptor's nose twitching. You That's smell marijuana. Leave the keys in a second. Yeah, no, we've Time to exercise the old ABC. Are you, mate? You're right. S sorry, pal, I couldn't see you then. You're right. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend. Uh, yeah. No worries. Is it your car? Yeah, it's my daughter's. Are you insured on it? Yeah. Well, we'll do some checks on you. But it, what, you got a licence on you? Uh, well, I'm not driving at a minute. My girlfriend's driving. I'm just sitting here waiting for You're her. just sitting in the driver's seat, are you? No, no, no worries, mate. The he claims to be sat buddy. in the driver's seat to keep warm. Uh, my girlfriend's just gone with her friend. The heat, the heat only work on that side? She'll be back in a minute. Well, who's going to be driving it? My partner. I've just jumped him. But there's the definite whiff of porky pies in the air. You got a licence yourself? No, no. What are you? A minute, no. Uh, Privacy? Oh, you're banned. Yeah, no worries, mate, yeah. 
No drugs or nothing? No, nothing. Are you a drug user? Uh, I am, yes, but I'm... You are. What do you take? He look like he take H. He look, he moving kind of fidgety. Don't say no Class B. Don't sit here and lie to us. You got on a whole Adidas jumpsuit. Come on now. Talk to me. Methadone. self search. Told you. Methadone c curves the H, right? Yeah. You now and the car, I'm not going to find anything. Is that what you're saying? No, there's nothing in this car. Am I right? Methadone is used to curve your addiction to H, right? Right. Okay. Garb's got a feeling something's definitely dodgy. He might be waiting to score if we could get the car parked up and the plot up on him. But is the chili band driver going to become the team's next hottest target? We're going to take off. In workshop, Gav and Mike are checking out an Audi parked up in a dimly lit car park. Are you mate? You're right. Nice, the band driver claims he's perched on the driver's seat to keep warm. You got a license on you? Yeah, my girlfriend's just gone with her friend. She'll be back in a minute. Well, well who's going to be driving it? My partner. <laughs> no, no, uh... <laughs> but Gav's not convinced. So for searching now and the car, I'm not going to find anything. Is that what you're saying? No, there's nothing in this car. Right. Nothing. Okay. This Derby County supporting officer's been with the force over 16 years. Long enough to know when someone's trying to pull the wool over his eyes. Yeah, you, you ain't even got to know he's trying to pull the wool over. Bro is sitting in a dark, secluded area. You know what I'm saying? All the signs are there. He's in a full Adidas jumpsuit with the three stripes on both shoulders. That's crackhead activity. Like, uh, I know, might be you know. to score if we could get the car parked up and the plot up on him. Just let me know, guys, when I can pull off and leave him to it, because he's fed me some crap that his missus is going to get in the car. He's sat in the driving seat to keep warm. But uh, I say he could have gear on him now, or he could be waiting to score. I'd rather let him pull off, and at least we'll get him on the driving. In case he does drive, Gav arranges a knife crime team welcoming party. I hope somebody come out and get in that car. Yeah, if you go down the sandy lane from that mini RA, Ken, and take that first left and sit there. And then I'm going to pull off, and if the other guys sit up somewhere near Premier, we'll have it covered. Is that all right? With all escape routes covered, they say their goodbyes. I was just, I was just making sure there were no warrants in that for you. Yeah, all right, no mate. Problem. All right, take it easy. All right, yeah, make sure you don't drive as no, well. I won't all, drive, right. No. all right, buddy. Thanks no. a lot. Bye bye. Right. This is what I told this bald faced lie right there. Right in front of the pool, smooth off. All right, good. They leave the scene, but Gav has a sneaking suspicion that they'll meet again soon. I hope he's not that driving. That car in the car park, he's a disqualified driver. He reckons his missus has driven there and he's just keeping warm in the driver's seat, which is just rubbish. He'll, um, he'll be driving. I'm surprised they even went this far. In America, you disqualify you in that driver's seat, the key is in the ignition, you're, you're out of here, buddy. Say sorry in hour to your car. Then. So we've got plain car and uh, a plain car up there watching. An undercover officer spots the bloke leaving, but he's on foot. <laughs> hey, bro, smart! That guy's got out of his car and he's walked up yeah. round to the school near to where we were. He's probably checking oh. out to see um, if we're still in the area. And then he'll go back to the car and try and drive it off. With the coast seemingly clear, driver's gone back to the car park. The suspect breaks his promise to Gav and drives off. Game on. Not that smart. On. Down towards Premier. Towards us away, isn't it? From yeah, yeah. If you hear me say dog, um, dog or H, that's, that's short for that, Brindy. I said dog. What did I say? H? The folks failed to stop for another knife crime unit, so Gav races to intercept. He's gone back around the circle, mate. Yeah. Right, right. Into a car park. But the drama is short lived. He crashed? You got him. Yes, thank you. Good shout. 1199. Appreciate it. He, he gotta pop back up. As the first officer he went past, you gotta pop up and be like, oh, you promised me. DQ driver. The suspect has headed straight back to the car park and its friends reunited. I thought you weren't gonna drive. Yeah, I'm sick of waiting for her. 
Dan Mottishaw has the man in hand. <laughs> We're lying like a man. Right, come back Crap over here, buddy. It. Come back over here. Cool. Come just back over here so we can start getting the search on you. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Keep gloves on. Yeah. Got it on, you shouldn't have, buddy. You know what I mean? As the team give the car the once over, He's kicking off. You guys start talking. He's kicking off? Here. What? You want to start missing? Why not? Relax. Straight on the floor. Why right? what? What? Why what? All right. Stop I says all I've done is have um, Stop this thing and stop I'm acting like this, shall we? Relax, buddy. Calm down. Right. I'm calm down. Right. Let's try again, shall we? The search soon reveals a dodgy package. Yeah, some crack cocaine. Mmm. By the looks of it. It's a good result. A band driver off the road and another victory for the famous copper's nose. Usually when you you get that feeling, um, you're usually right. If he was with his missus. Bro, for go dead to prison and detox. Cold turkey. Tough. I don't see why he'd get out of the passenger seat to jump in the driving seat to keep warm. You wouldn't. You know, that's the best he could do thinking on his feet. It's it rubbish. Worked. The driver was found guilty of disqualified driving, no insurance and failing to stop. He received a six-week suspended sentence, had to pay a total of £213 in surcharging costs and was disqualified from driving for 12 months. No further action was taken for the rap of suspected drugs. You know what that means? No further action was taken on the suspected drugs? Somebody sold that man some soap. <laughs> That wasn't even real. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. TLLE will like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.